Good morning. We are now in Sydney, Australia. We're looking over our aircraft. Uh, Boeing 737 4 X-ray Echo Kilo 1. It's the Boeing business jet. Uh, jet operated by El Al. Virtual only, of course. It does not exist uh, in real life. But uh, we'll simulate that uh, for fun. Uh, and we're going today from Sydney, Australia to... Um, where was it? Mali, in the Maldives. Um, and uh, it's going to be about an 11 hours and 22 minutes flight. And uh, we're going to get there in the late afternoon in Mali. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, divide it into two videos. In this one, we're going to go into the aircraft, prepare it uh, from uh, the state that it's in. And uh, in the second video, we will uh, close the doors and actually fly it. Um, so, how was your time here in Australia? Did you have fun? Good, good. So, it's uh, now 11.18 a.m. Uh, here in Australia. They just towed our airplane uh, into the gate, gate 35, in the international terminal. They did not hook it up yet. Actually, it's a good time to do that. And uh, while they start uh, working on our aircraft, uh, we would we will brief and um, take a look at all the paperwork, all the paperwork, make sure it's uh, it looks good, and then uh, off we go into uh, into the aircraft and uh, to start working on it. Let's get some catering. coming in and uh, it should be already fueled up we requested it already on the on our way from the hotel and they told us that it's done so uh, yeah we'll see once we get there in the meantime let's jump into the OFP uh, let's see this is LL 901 April 8th 2020 from YSSY Kingsford Smith to VRMM Vilena International 7384 X-ray Echo Kilo 1, that's correct. Uh, release was done almost an hour ago, like 45 minutes ago, so that's good. And uh, the rest here looks good. We're gonna leave the gate at 0200 Zulu, uh, which is in about 40 minutes from now, and arriving. Uh, well, we're gonna land. We're gonna have 20 minutes of ground time. I think that's conservative. We're probably gonna take off in less and uh, arrive 11 hour 22 minutes later uh, onto the runway and park just a short few minutes after. Um, and the station is expecting us at 1420. I don't know why, but it should work out even with less than that. The initial altitude is uh, is uh, flight level 320. Uh, our trip fuel is 28.6. Uh, we have an alternate, which I do not know what it is yet. We will find out. Final reserve is 900 kilograms, which brings to a min total of 34.1. We got some extra fuel for changes and uh, and uh, maybe, God forbid, a generator comes off and we need the APU. So that's what it's for. Uh, it's a it's an ATOPS flight, so we'll take a look at that. Block fuel altogether is 36.34, something like that. We'll see what they got in there. Uh, can beats. Sorry about that. 
so we discussed the fuel, we'll take a look at that. We got no MELs today. VOBG, we'll find out what's in the name of that airport. Uh, no MELs, good route. Dina 7, expecting 16 wait for takeoff, which is a short taxi. Uh, we'll brief the flight, attendant, the flight attendants about that. They have a short time to prepare the cabin. Uh, Akaksa to Alpha. Uh, I think that's a conservative planning because that's the non RNAV arrival. Uh, the 3 Alpha is the RNAV arrival, which uh, will get us there faster uh, without re reverse commercial in the, in the holding and, and all that. Uh, clearance will get uh, in a bit. I don't think there's. Uh, there is ATC at the moment. We got the times. Uh, right now, we're gonna work on that. Passengers. We know already the pa the final passengers uh, numbers. Two flight attendants and the crew is good. Route uh, just as well. We'll need that uh, top of climb winds later. So that's when I'm gonna be drawing the information from when I set up the MCDU. Uh, sorry, the, C the CDU. Using airplane names, huh? And yeah, we'll have some ETOPS planning coming up. There it is. Um, so yeah, we'll take a look at that. The weather minimums we need are those. The actual weather forecasts. Seen WIB beats uh, forecast to be 1500 ceiling, but it's still fine. And five kilometers, uh, the rest are pretty much perfect. All right, winds are winds, nothing much to talk here. Flight plan looks good. The segments we're gonna take a look later. Uh, and if we talk about the uh, weather data, uh, here winds out of the south. East, very light, perfect uh, visibility, uh, nothing significant in terms of cloud temperature, pressure, all that. Destination, what did we say we arrive? At 1420 Zulu. So, 1420 Zulu, yeah, we're pretty much looking at that. Uh, we got a tempo for a few uh, CBs at 1900 feet, but other than that, light winds out of the north west and good visibility destination alternate this is hull vobg um so let's say if we arrive there uh, about an hour or so after so 1520 uh then yeah we're looking at the this forecast four kilometers uh drizzle Missed scatter 1000 and broken 8000. Uh, ETOPS, we said Cabo K. Uh, WIBB, we said that's a problematic one, and sure enough, we have the five, the five kilometers rain and broken 1500, and CB is at, 17, at 1700 feet. Uh, and the second one is again some CBs, but other than that, should be okay. Last thing, uh, no times. I'm looking for something significant that would stop us from going. Uh, the lights. Uh, some closures of taxiways, that's fine with me. Taxiways, taxiways. Let's look at the runways. Not gonna use that today. High intensity and light. Okay, do work in progress. A seven twenty-five not available due to work in progress. That's daily between thirteen hundred Zulu to twenty hundred Zulu. So that should be valid if we need it, but not really. Uh, again, this has already ended. So yeah, there's the curfew, that's because of the COVID-19, uh, but uh, it should not be available for our operation today. Uh, some more stuff, lead off lights, nothing 
anything else here. Sid, nothing that pertains to us. I list one six right not available. That's daily and it's over by now. So yeah, nothing that's significant to us in our destination. Uh, nothing. Or alternates. Nothing, nothing significant, nothing significant, nothing significant. I'm not gonna worry about the FIR ones, I'm just, I wanna see pretty much the, um, the maps. So this is our route today, Sydney to, through the, all the southern part of Australia, through the, uh, towards the west. Uh, this is uh, Singapore is here. These are uh, Indonesia islands, and then through the Indian Ocean uh, to Mali in the Maldives. This is India. Uh, so looks good. These are the ETOPS. We got uh, one, two ETPs, and the ETOPS entries here, which is interesting because we're not over water here, but there's just no alternates available. Uh, let's see about the, about the weather, pretty much against the winds uh, here, expecting uh, some turbulence, let's see, number one, it's moderate turbulence, up to 41,000 uh, feet, so yeah, we're for sure going to encounter that, uh, let's see, I would guesstimate around uh, three hours into the flight, I'm going to warn the flight attendants about that, and after that should be pretty good until we get to that rich area over the Indian Ocean, uh, so CBs isolated and embedded will definitely need to circumnavigate that, it's a good thing we have our uh, um, our uh, extra fuel, uh, in case we do need to divert, uh, we got also the CBs over our ETOPS alternate and as well over our destination alternate. Winds. Uh, not actually that much, well, at first against us, then it's kind of all over the place. That's at flight level 300, this is at flight level 3400, so definitely looks like we should climb higher, not only for the fuel, but also for the winds. Yep, and that's pretty much it. Uh, main threat is the CBs and the long flights. Um, other than that, I don't see much any questions, anything uh, to add. No, good, awesome. So I'm, I'm gonna get rid of this. I have it on the, my other my other monitor, and uh, it's, it's not gonna bother us anymore. Uh, what else can we talk about? I do want to talk about the departure here. Um, so we are at parking, oh that's sorry, that's the uh, Maldives, we're gonna, we're here at gate 35, I'll make it here, gate 35, at the international terminal, we're expecting to taxi via Golf Alpha and Alpha 1 to runway 16 right full length, I think that's the one, yep, 16 right via Alpha 1. I'm gonna take off southbound. Uh, Dina Seven departure. I just wanna show you it's ten three Bravo. You're welcome to uh, join me later when I brief it. Um, and uh, yeah, Dunes Dina uh, Campy. I'm gonna look at that via Kadum. Now turn left track one fifty five. Soon as practical, turn right direct Dunes from Dunes. Turn left track 152 to Dina, then follow transition uh, instructions. So, uh, Dina to Kadum, turn right if through uh, 6000 or track 152 until past 6000, then right track direct Ankub. Um, from Ankub to Kadum. And uh, that's pretty much it. Speed is the standard 250 over 10,000. It's jets only, which we are, and nothing else is special. Transition altitude is 10,000 feet. 
Nothing else to talk about that. We got our rivals here, and once again, I'm gonna get rid of uh, this chart. You guys can have one final look, and that's it. So it looks like the catering is done, and the flight attendants are already in the airplane. So let's uh, let's get some power in there. So first things first, uh, we check the uh, maintenance logbook and uh, nothing significant over there. And um, we checked already the uh, emergency equipment, circuit breakers, and uh, so the extinguishers, the, uh, the crash axe, the gloves are in here, uh, and all that jazz, escape ropes, everything does look good. So, in that case, they already uh, hooked up the ground power, not gonna hook it up yet. Uh, let's see. So, emergency. The alternate flaps are stowed. Uh, the hydraulic, ele electric hydraulic pumps are off. The wipers are parked. Uh, gear is down, the flap lever is up, the speed brake lever is up, the throttles, the thrust levers are idle, the and the uh, uh, fuel selector cutoff, parking brake is now set, and the weather radar is off. Which means we can now power up the airplane. Here we go. So, first thing first. Check my oxygen mask, and I checked it. Back in emergency, then back to 100%. Ta -ta -ti -ta -ta -ta. Looks good to me. I need to wait for our screens to come up. In the meantime, what we can do is these chicks looking for any bulbs that are out for some reason I do not see any Extinguisher. And it won't let me actually do the check as it should be, but uh, we'll take it. That's fine. Extinguisher. Uh, extinguisher bottles. Cargo. Fire. This it will let me. That's good. Good. Now, in the meantime, we're listening to that 1228 on number 1, 1215 number 2, squawking 2000 for now. Uh, everything here looks good, and the trim is zero and neutral. Very good. In the meantime, we got those up and up, so. Let's see, we got 
oil quantity they just filled it up and hydraulics also are full and the pressure is low so that's perfect we can reset the fuel flow and that's pretty much it we can start running our flows flight those are all normal and auto crossfade valve is opening and closing normally there we go off we'll turn on the cabin uh, utility and IFEs guarded 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 everything looks good normal I got some light here parking brake Window heat. Da, 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 off. So that's actually not correct because it would be open. There it is. Open. That's good. I guess the flight attendants were trying something. The syrup fan can come on. We have uh, auxiliary. got um, AC from the terminal that is and that's it top altitude we're gonna get today is 38 and landing altitude is zero everything else steady right that looks good fantastic uh, I'm gonna put the doors and actually the ground connections here. I was still need to do the walk around and the pedo covers. Uh, but here I'm gonna do this. It's a 737-800 with winglets. ARAC is good until April 23, which is good. Pausing it. Y S S Y We'll take the GPS, which is already online. Let's see that it's roughly the same. Yep, it's roughly the same. The route, we can already plug in the auto load, the RMM company route. It's in there. And we are E L Y Niner Zero One. It's going to be plugged in here, and we can already preload one six right into the runway. That's what we're expecting, and I saw other airplanes taking off of this runway already. Uh, great. So I'm just gonna glance through real quick. It's not a long route to verify. So Dino Seven, we will load in a second. Kadom, actually, let's load it now. Uh, so off of one six right, we got Dino Seven. Uh, transition Kadom. Then on the arrival side. Do you want LS Yankee one six via Tikal, which we would use uh, a Caxa three alpha? Why do I have it? I think that's it. I will verify that in a bit. Okay. Before I activate it, Kadom Q401 Uvupu J21 WHA J149 CDU W486 FRT November 6 40 LM T41 
Camon Lima 894 Akaxa and then we'll have to verify I think I loaded the wrong yep I did load the wrong entry here Akaxa why don't, don't I have Akaxa 3 alpha I do not know it just means we will have to do what we felt so it's a Kaksa 2 alpha and then it would be ILS Zulu 3.6 via Rexon so there we go Kaksa 2 alpha to Rexon and then on the approach transition to ILS Zulu 3.6 and on a missed approach so that's loaded in and it's verified and we will stop here for now. I do want to get the weather. So we'll get zero eight zero uh sorry the eighth at one thirty. So that's uh this is a meter from fifteen minutes ago, thirteen minutes ago. One seven zero at nine knots, ten kilometers Few 2200 scattered 5000 broken 7000 19 2.14 QNH 1022. We'll do that. Fantastic. So 1022. One zero two two. I will for now traffic and terrain on both sides and inputs traffic terrain and airports on both sides perfect uh, the track was 155 I believe on departure this track but it looks pretty good and the rest we will check in a bit in the meantime pre-flight checklist pre-flight gear pins removed oxygen tested 100% tested 100% navigation display switch uh, this transfer and display switches uh, normal and auto window heat on pressurization mode selector Auto cross checked parking brake set engine start levers cut off pre flight checklist complete fantastic let's take a look here now uh, now we can go to the walk around actually our other pilot will jump up and do it so we can continue to uh, prepare things. So while he's at it, he's going to remove the pedo covers. And we are about 15 minutes to push back, so I'm going to start up the APU. Uh, it'll be a little bit noisy for him. Actually, I'm going to wait for him until he's back. Our passengers are still well, they're coming on their way from the terminal uh, to get some. They're doing some business here and. I don't know what, but they're going to join us in a bit. Uh, very cool. So we don't have any clearance delivery here. We can assume we just got cleared as filed. that I need so I can uh, use exactly what I what we briefed earlier and we'll call that briefed. There's no initial climb here in the chart, it's not published at least. So I'm gonna set up, we're gonna leave 10,000, it looks good. 
155 here. It is an ordinary departure, I'm not going to be worrying about the... Uh, actually, why not? Let's load the approach back to 16 right in case we need it. There is an RNAV one, so we can do that, but why not? 112.1 and 109.5. 112.1, that's Sydney, and 109.5, we'll do that on both sides, so 112.1. Uh, set in both sides and it should well, I guess it's not identifying yet but we'll leave it as is good since we know our numbers already I'm going to set them up so zero fuel is 46.6 .6. Here we go, our other pilot is back from his walk around. Everything looks good? Fantastic. Good to hear. APU is coming up. Forty six point six reserves. Let's see, alternate is three point two, final reserve is nine hundred pounds, so overall reserves are four point one. And yes, it is rounded up. Cost index is 5. And initial altitude is flight level 320. Cruise winds. Let me see in the OFP here in the flight plan section. Top of climb altitudes are 281 at 76. Uh, sorry, winds 281. 76 with a deviation of plus 4 cool transition altitude is 10,000 and that is checked Using a reserve fuel, that's going to change. I'm going to actually do, uh, let's see, target speed, everything here looks good. Cruise uh, step to 34 is actually valid now, so I'm going to request it already from clearance delivery and we can set this up as our initial cruising altitude. Uh, we're using reserve fuel, that's still the case, but it's going to change because it does not know we're going to step on, and the uh, flight plan does, does know this. Uh, so this is set, descent, we're going to worry about it later. Uh, progress, let's see, we got 5,021 uh, miles, I'm going to cross check it with my OFP. 5,021. 2021 and in the OFP it's planned for 5009 so it's pretty accurate and I like it let's see this is updated now to 34 that's good and as for the takeout performance I'm gonna use my tool here in the other computer, either screen, let's see we got uh, performance limit weight is 34.7 tons, that's the limit weight, flaps 1 takeoff, and we got 30 D rate uh, with takeoff to 35, we'll do that. Actually, we'll do 30. Don't need to stretch it that much. 
thirty, flaps one. Uh, CG will pop that right in, and we have six point seven. And the speeds the CDU suggests are. Let's see, we got. Yeah, that's those are good. Six point seven is set. Sixty one, sixty four, and seventy. So one seventy can go right over here. And boom, we have Sydney Tower just got online to 120.5. Gonna call them in a second. And just to make sure air conditioning is up, uh, we might take a small delay here because of that uh, change of plans, but it's, uh, it's gonna be fine. Uh, let's see. You guys, can you hear me? Let's get them to talk to us. Alright, guys, uh, you are clear to disconnect the uh, GPU and the uh, air conditioning units, and are we clear to? Um, to pressurize the hydraulics? Awesome, thank you very much. And I got word from the flight attendants that the passengers are all here. Awesome. Let's talk to Tower then. Uh, before that, actually, let's take the ATIS real quick. So we got ATIS Bravo. I mean, one six right. Surface wind one six zero degrees, nine knots, ten kilometers or more. Uh, in short, no change. One zero two two. Information Bravo and Sydney Towers 120.5. Perfect. We'll do this. All right, let's talk to him. Sydney Tower, good morning, sir. I'll, uh, 9001 uh, gate 35 information, Bravo, request clearance to Mali. LL901, uh, Sydney Tower, good day. It's clear to Mali via CADOM flight plan route. Dino 7 departure, CADOM transition, runway 16 right. Climb via the SID 5000, score 4504, departures on 125, date small 0. Okay, uh, LL901 is clear to Mali. Uh, via Dina 7 Kadom flight plan route 16 right uh, initial altitude 5000 squawk 4504 and departure frequency 125 uh, decimal 0 LL901 LL901 perfect so that's set we can plug in first of all for Five zero four, 
and since we're almost moving, we're going to move that already to alt only. And 5,000 over here. And just looking quickly through the leg pages. So dunes, Dina, 6,000 or above, turn right to Ancope. Kadom, then flight plan route. I want to see that there's no disconnect. And this is already the star. We're going to deal with that as we get close. But there is a connection into the runway, which I like. Awesome. So, map, very good. Let's see, an acceleration altitude will be normal here. One, two, five point zero is standing by. Perfect. Okay, guys, that concludes our preparation uh, video. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna continue where we left off in the next one. Uh, see you soon.